Hey boys and girls, we're going to look at some pictures that Grant Flood did um, way back uh, in the early 1900s and he was an American artist that really changed the way people thought about art in a lot of ways. He did realistic paintings but had really polished smooth finishes and one of the reason art teachers love to look at his work is because you can look at a painting and it really tells a wonderful story. Um, so look at that painting. Raise your hand if you've seen it before. I bet you have. Here's another painting of Grant Wood that might not be as famous, but it really tells a story about the important things that people were thinking about when Grant Wood was alive and where he lived. And this painting is called Fall Plowing, and it shows an old-fashioned plow. The plow was used by a farmer, and he would hold the handles and walk behind it while a horse or oxen pulled it. The sharp blade would cut rows into the dirt. The rows made lines that curved side by side over the hill. The lines, when you look at the picture, lead your eye from the plow into the painting. And then you can see where the hay has been cut into neat stacks. The hay stacks are, imp are important because they tell us it's fall. The next row of hay stacks takes your eyes to a farmhouse in the background. After you see the farmhouse, the rows bring your eyes back to the plow. And the plow is the most important thing in the picture. It's the largest object. And the plow became important because whole fields needed to be cleared quickly and the farmers would have more time to grow crops. So this one picture that was thought out carefully with lots of lines tells a really cool story. Here's another one. You might know this picture. It's called Parson Weems' Fable. Do you see George Washington in the painting? He has a little boy's body and an old man's face. Why do you think Mr. Woods did that? Well, he did it because the famous portrait of George Washington made the story easier to understand. Not many people knew what George Washington looked like when he was a little boy. That man that's in the front of the picture is Parson Weems. He made up the story about George chopping down his father's cherry tree. Parson Weems also said that young George always told the truth. Parson Weems' fable helps us to remember that folklore isn't always true, but the stories are good to know. So I've got two art challenges for you today. I would like you to either try to draw this picture American Gothic in your own style with whoever you would like, your puppy dog. Maybe Blue wants to be in the picture. Blue, do you want to be in the picture? Oh, she's hiding. She's turning into a little furball. There she is. Um, or what you could do is make your own story about something that's happening in your life here in Gloucester, just like this picture was, something that's important, maybe the people that you're with, and fill it with lots of details and think about where your eye is going to go first, what the biggest thing in the picture is going to be. Oh, and look at that nice horizon line in the background. Let's use our art vocabulary where the sky meets the prairie land. So anyways, it was good to see you. Blue, come here. Say bye to the guys and girls and we will see you later. She's looking. She's got her eye on you. Bye-bye.